So, for those of you who don't know, I had to play against MVD at the Level Up Expo. Um, tournament, last weekend, whatever, doesn't matter. This was to get into top eight through loser side. Uh, I have played MVD a subtotal of seven times before this, eight times after this. And this poor chap has taken a measly zero sets off of me. We have been playing ever since the beginning of Ultimates and it's, it's never gone his way once. There's times where it's close. I was trolling with Mega Man a little bit, but he's never really even gotten close to being the Zero Suit. And here's the thing. I think that this player is the worst versus Zero Suit. I think he is very bad against Zero Suit. We're gonna talk about why and the general mistakes that he makes. To be fair, I will give him the benefit of the doubt. There are not a lot of Zero Suits to learn from. And even if you do learn the Zero Suit matchup, you didn't learn how to play against Mars. So you're back to square one, because I play very different. But I like what he does. He, he crouches a lot in this, this first game, which is good. Zero Suit has a very hard time when it comes to dealing with crouch. Nair kind of just isn't an option anymore. Landing forward air works, but it's very obvious. So I'm starting to like, I'm baiting obviously right here. He's crouching in the corner. We're both feeling it out. I want to see just how hard I can bait him. He's not dash tagging, he's not giving, and I'm respecting C4. Down air obviously beats it. I don't know why I jumped into that C4 like an absolute bot. But yeah, this is just typical mind games going on. It's it's like the the meta the the pace for this set is being developed. He's going to crouch and then he's going to shield. Grab of course beats the the, the crouch that he's doing, but it's setting the pace. I can't get to jump happy. I miss grabbing a lot of these grenades and it like low-key tilts me. But he starts implementing the jumps to get around the grabs, which I really like too. So like again, it's it's a development thing. If I did a dash grab here, I died. Side B is of course the safer thing to do, which is why I did it and why he ended up getting punished. But still, ooh, sexy F tilt. And he's mashing footstool too. Just overall impressive de developments for someone who usually is um is someone I clip every time I play him in tournament. Yeah, he had, obviously he has the ability to bang up close. We know that. We've seen Snake do that. But yeah, I see the jumps. I'm like, okay, we're playing normally now. I'm doing a little bit more zoning, a little bit more aggressive zoning. We're good. He's learning as he fights, as a top player would do. He's not pulling any grenades though. I think what he could be doing is if he sees that I'm not jumping, he could pull. He could put his back to me and pull grenade. If I land with his air, it doesn't matter. It won't proc grenade, and he can just go back to crouching while the grenade is next to him. It's just like a safer way to like deter approaching and also have a grenade out you with you. I wonder, cause like also Snake's recovery is good. Look at me playing like an absolute roach. Look at me, <laughs> dude. He's trying to mix. I'm trying to mix. I'm holding the A button. It's frame one. I win. That was a really good call out too. I like the four air. It beats down smash again. It's just it's it's adapting on like in real time. We're like developing a meta right now. You hate that Snake loses this matchup? No troll, I think it's even. She's just there. Every time I play against MVD, and at the end of this set, he's like, yo, so Zero Suit beat Snake, right? I'm like, ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> you should see me play the matchup. It's like, it's like a, it's a reactionary thing, too. The snake player oh, I forward smashed so much this tournament, and it sucked. Like, like so, these forward smashes got hands. He has to react in an area that's just really hard. See, he's, uh, it's, it's getting a little rookie now. See what I mean? He has to react in an area that's just really hard. Maybe he wanted to like roll in there and he kind of messed up. Which I know that that's something that Mars has to keep in the back. A missed punish is pretty important there. I like the back air to deter from the pressure. Okay, he's getting used to the timings. He does take this stock, right? I do believe it's a last stock game. If I'm being real, when it comes Again, to the like it was a predictable side B, so I have to start playing a little slower. But what is he doing wrong, right? Because he's playing the matchup pretty well right now, right? He's not pulling the trigger on any of these reads. He's kind of just getting in and seeing what I'm going to do. He's waiting for me to panic. Yeah, play your snake against your ZSS. My snake would win. I got red trying to grab. That was very good. Like, that's the. Think about that. Yeah, I don't know how he got hit by that paralyzer. Why did he even get hit? Like, that's the. Think about he that. uncrouched. He was probably scared of getting grabbed or side beat. Damn, my hair looked that bad and nobody told me? What the heck? I feel like I say that every time I see myself on camera. How does the snake compete in neutral versus the assess? Grenades and crouching are like the go-to. And then really good movement to bait. Cause the only way I'm like going to open up snake is like a read. And like Zero Suit's advantage state versus snake is clearly where she excels. She can keep him in disadvantage really well and she has the ability to kill him like pretty handily. But yeah, this is where the mistakes start to come in. See, I personally don't mind the stage versus snake because they like the platform camp. 
Yeah, she does. Force that, that was really good too from him. Up air would have killed, but or get, get a little I DI those. Just, but I'm no longer. See, he's trying. He's going back to like the the tried and true game one stuff that was working. He's like, oh, he's probably going to dash grab me here to keep up the pressure, or he's going to side B to launch me into the air and then edge guard me. So he's trying to jump over it, but I'm reading it now. Like I'm playing like a, a generic zoning game where I can air to air snake very easily, and I'll, I will beat him to the punch in most oh. scenarios. The armor might have tanked a bunch of the hits. I'm running a little farther too when I want to shoot Paralyzer. I'm trying to like punish his jump ins and stuff. Like the jump in was really the only like huge adjustment that he made. Also get footstooled. You bum. Some weird shifting happened. But hey, get that stock. A hot miss input. We love to see it. Crazy. See, the, that was just a very bad challenge. Just go to ledge. Uh, Zero Suit's ledge trapping is actually bad. This air dodge was clearly bad too. All right. I think fast falling is actually usually pretty bad to do against Zero Suit when you're getting juggled. Earlier. Of all of that vertical momentum and space that zero can cover. Zero can cover. I, I wasn't sure if that was going to work out the way I thought it would. I missed the grenade. I'm so buns. Also, I feel like I make it pretty obvious when I want to grab grenades, and he could be dash attacking that. He's not doing like grenade counterplay either. Maybe I'm just really good at the snake matchup, and it's not his fault. I think I figured that out. He's having a lot of trouble. Checkmate, you bum. If he double jump up bees, I react with back air. If he double jumps, he's probably fine, actually. I would have challenged at that point. I would have done, like, rising dare. MVD should ask Tweak how to play against you. Uh, that's very not great, because, uh, you know, they play very different characters. And then he goes Sora. And I think this is where his, like, matchup uh, inexperience really shows through, because I would jump in front of him, and he would forward air. And he would he would nair. <clears throat> but he, he was committed to, like, the, the air to air thing. Some characters can beat Zero Suit in air to air. And some characters like do a way better job just uh some characters do better shield camping so i was gonna say very cool jacket thank you i tried my best mvd does play diddy but like he doesn't like he doesn't play like ultimate diddy you know what i mean like he doesn't really practice the character or anything of course i'm not gonna give him a freebie and chat don't tell mvd but i made sure to make these games really close so that he goes Sora again against me. He's got the counter on deck. I tried doing the same thing against Meister and it didn't work. But this time for sure. So I would hit his shield and he would immediately start swinging. I'm around him, he's narrowing. He's doing aerials out of shield almost every time. And I just have to react in forward air or space around it. Can you describe the overall gameplay of air to air or other game strategies like that? It's kind of exactly what it sounds like. It's just like aerials beating other aerials. So generally you want to be the person in air to air situations to swing second. But some characters like Zero Suit kind of defy that like little rule. And they, if, you know, if Zero Suit swings first, you'll usually end up uh, beating out your hitbox because Fort Air is pretty useful for that. It's literally, I, like Fort Air is literally made for air to air situations. Terrible, terrible down air. We love to see it. Do I like the Sora matchup? No, not really. I don't think it's like bad or anything, but spacing around his obnoxious hitboxes is kind of difficult. All of these grabs I'm hitting are conditioning for the end of the set. I wonder if I could have like, could I have returned anything bigger? Nair, right. This is a really weird landing spot. Would forward air have just been better? I mean, I got two, uh, three up airs for it. So up air was more damage. Fair was like better for setting up a kill. There it is. There's me just baiting. This, I knew he's gonna swing if I just stand there. Look at him mashing. I'm just watching at this point. I'm a spectator of the sport. I see him getting very comfortable with rolling and spot dodging, yeah. as people tend to do at the percents they're scared of up throw. <laughs> Last hit scenario, by the way, Zerus who dies to anything here, and I. Oh my God! I, I actually could have just raw up beat. It would have punished it. Yeah, that was. And then he's like, "Yeah, yeah, Zerus suit beats the snake." I'm like, "Ah, shut the f up, dude." Yeah, all right. This is this is strictly for humbling and for nothing else. Oh, I'm up on light? Hola. Y'all don't even know about that, do you? We've played 28 sets. Get away from me, you Jim. Listen, light can talk all the shit he wants, but they don't know. They don't know I'm up. They didn't know I was a farmer. Um, what was it? Tweak? Oh, God. Ooh! Ah! It was zero. God damn it. <laughs> it is zero eight. But look, I be taking games, all right? It'd be close at least, okay? At least I take games. It's not fair. See, he's a counterpicker, dude. Look at—he's beating me with so many characters, dude. One, two, 
three, four. We'll get him. Hey, nobody beats bars nine times in a row, right? What's the set count here? Six, dude, I've lost majority. What the heck? But was it in a row? No, I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Se yep, see, seven. See, it's never nine. Never nine. Woo, <laughs> baby. What about Leo? Don't worry about it. I'm eight and 11 versus him. Oh, Sharp, what's going on, big guy? What's going on? Hey, nobody beats Sharp 12 times in a row, right, dude? Right? Oh, look at you taking games. Look at you. <laughs> You're garbage. 